including it into the very warm night sky in Miami. Of course, in Miami, playing center back today. He has played just about every single position for this Miami team since the old days of when they were in Tupaco Craig. He's now playing center back. Yeah, he actually played center back in the previous match against Loudon. And it's on Chris Cortez, who's mm. one of the top 20 all-time goal scorers in USL Championship history. In which they did against Loudon. Beautiful cross in, header, and he was able to punish the Loudon defense for not marking him. It's less than so a goal per game. Can't be better than that. Very true, very true. That's why I, say, I think everybody knows what you're getting when you play River Hounds. You know you get, and they've tried with Cristiano down this side. Have a look, Cristiano's cut the ball a few times. He, he can't get past Jelani Peters. And Ariel, all three previous meetings. So if you're River Hounds fans, you're thinking, yes, this is our game. However, I need to add something to that. Very staunch, very hard to break down. But now another set piece opportunity. This one just blasted away by Peters with Miami. The ball into the box. Peters again with a towering header. And this time, Highmark Stadium. I was impressed when I see games being played there. Yeah, it was a great performance to beat Tampa Bay. I mean, they're a top, top class side, and they're a little bit lucky in, in, in parts to Santos here. In the Atlantic Division, neither team challenging for that spot. Hartford currently 1 0 up on Loudon, however, should mention that. And Charleston. They're very tight on those strikers, Pittsburgh River Hounds. Jelani Peters in particular, not giving them any space to move or turn, and they're stopping the threat. They know. Approaching halftime, still nil-nil our score. Sides, but I think too much to send home about thus far. Into the middle now. Here's Peters, who's come up a bit to help in the attack. for Miami being the home side. In the mind time, Ariel Martinez playing it through. Here's Lamar Walker, it's popped up in the air, headed down and away by Peters. Just looking ahead at Charlotte's matches coming up because if this, if this remained a draw, would it be a bad result for either side? And Charlotte have to go away to Hong Kong and do a bit more of the hard donkey work for you. And again, playing as the away team, you've had to do the traveling, you've had to mm. be on flight. But when you're in the middle there and you're getting smashed in the face by someone, <laughs> and <it's> There's <laughs> not, you just you rely on instant. Good touch forward. He's trying to play it off. Here's Francois into the box, and it touch goes just. Big touch by Lamar Walker as it takes him into the attacking third. Ball is into the box and headed away. An excellent header by Peters. He has been everywhere defensively for this Riverhounds team. Balling for both sides. Down the line, really challenged by Peters. There was a stoppage time goal. Yes, you quite will right. See, we will see what happens <laughs> over the next five minutes or so. You know, recently that, that save from Alex Dixon was superb. Get it to the big man up for there we go. Now we're talking. Chris Cortez shields it down. Reed has it taken away from his feet. Crowd urging on the Miami side. Played for Tahir De Silva, who was making the run forward. And it's intercepted very well by Jelani Peters, who's been excellent mm. for Pittsburgh this evening. He has been. He's been so tight on the on the attackers. He's been cutting things up. Been absolutely brilliant, Jelani Peters. I just